Hi everyone, this is Anna. I am one of your consumer technology specialists. And today's video, we are going to take a look at a few mindfulness apps. So each of the apps we're gonna look at today do have a free version and a paid version. Um, we are going to be focusing on the content for the free version of each of these apps. In order to utilize the content from this video, you do need a smartphone or tablet, as well as an email address to create an account in each app and also internet access. Okay, so here I am going to show these apps on our iPad. However, they are all also available on Android devices. And the first one we're going to talk about, Insight Timer, is also available through a web browser. Insight Timer is an app for meditation for all levels. An account is required to save your favorites. You also can connect with friends and other users. We're just gonna take a quick look around the different tabs on this app to give you a better idea of what is available. So when you open Insight Timer, it does open to this home tab. One thing that you should know is that you do have to create an account. This is so that you can keep track of the things that you've watched or are interested in watching, as well as connecting with other people, maybe a group of friends, anything like that. Also on this homepage, we can see that there is a check-in available. Um, so it's a daily check-in that you you are able to complete every day, then when you do that, it just will kind of keep track so you can see, is it increasing your mood? Is it, are you feeling less stressed? You can kind of see from a chart just based on clicking these smiley faces. If we scroll down just a little bit here, there is a section, um, it says made for you. It's just suggestions of videos that the app thinks that you would like. It also gives you kind of an idea of what you'll actually be getting. There are definitely different things that you can access and experience through this website. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the learn tab really quickly. This is where you can view live events or there are some workshops and courses that you can pay to participate in. So this is where the premium options kind of fit in with this learn tab. This next tab is called the discover tab. Um, this is where you can really look through all the content on the app. So we see there's the a timer for those who maybe are more practiced in meditation and just need a timer to kind of help them with their practice. There are also plenty of categories for meditations. As we can see, sleep, there is a tab for beginners. There are actually some yoga practices that you can watch. There are definitely a lot of options. I am gonna go ahead and click where it says see all. And this kind of gives you a better indication of just how much content there is. So the Discover tab is really going to be your main place. You want to go to find different types of meditation. The Connect tab is really just to kind of show you how many people are actually using this website or app. And you can see people from all over the world. This is also where if you wanted to create a group so you and people you know can um, kind of have an experience together and check in with each other through this group, you can do that here as well. The last tab is just, it shows your profile. So the profile is gonna give you some of the data that it's keeping as you are using the app so as far as motivational data um, so again you can access the timer here uh, and it looks like this so here is where you can also access things that you've recently looked at different 
practices and then those bookmarks will all stay here. So if there was one that you really liked, you might go ahead and save it so you can do it later. But this is kind of just gives you a little bit of a central location to access all the information. So we're actually going to go back to the discover tab really quickly. I'm just going to show how you can search and we're just going to search for sleep. Um, I know it was an option on the tabs, but we'll, we'll go ahead and see what we can find. It looks like there's hashtags, so that would show different topics. Um, there are specific meditations. There might be events or people that you're searching for. So you're going to get everything right away. And then the filters are right underneath the search. So we can go ahead and look at those. And I'm just going to click on this soothing sleep talk down. This is where if I want to go ahead and play it, I could do that. And this is where I can also click on more and then bookmark or add it to a playlist or even recommend it to someone. So there are all sorts of options. Almost all of its features are included in the free version. So now what I'm going to do is I am just going to press my home button to get us back to our iPad so that we can see our next app. So this next app we're going to look at is called Smiling Mind, and it was actually developed by a group of psychologists in Australia. So um, we will see in a little bit that there, there are some research aspects of this, this specific app, but it is another free app. So one of the unique things about this app is that it has different content for all ages of people. So we can see kids, youth, adults, but even there's contents for families to use together, as well as classrooms or even, even a work setting. There are also a few meditations that are in other languages. And what I had mentioned before about the research, there is a tab for research projects. So we're just going to go back to the home tab really quickly to get kind of an overview. When you first sign up for the app, it also does need an account to save your progress and all of that. But it does ask you a bunch of questions to kind of get a feel for how experienced you are with meditation as well as what you're looking to get out of it. And then when you do get through that, you are suggested some courses that you can go ahead and try. So when I was setting this one up, I said that I was a beginner, didn't know anything about meditation. So these programs that it is offering me to try are because of the level that I said I was at. However, if I click on Explore More Programs, that does just bring me to the Explore tab. And I can actually access any of these programs. So we'll see an Intro to Mindfulness is still the first one there, but there are some more programs and I really can try any of them. It's just that it gave me some suggestions based on my answers to the entry survey. Um, so if I want to just look at one of these on this one, I have the option to download for offline mode. And this is really kind of more like a short course than an actual mindfulness practice. So very short, it looks like the longest one is a six minute practice and that's actually a meditation. So I have that option. I can always just choose a different one. So this is kind of set up a little bit more as a course and to teach how to be more mindful or how to use meditation. And that's why we've got the different, different ages are able to, to find content. And because it was developed by the psychologists, that is kind of why it's more course work focused. So uh, just want to scroll down here to show you this research projects. This is where they are actually performing search. And so they are asking for donations to help with 
these different studies. Much of this content you can kind of find in each of the tabs on the bottom. But I just wanted to kind of really quickly show each of them. You can set a reminder. This one also has a, a check-in, a well-being check-in that's similar to our Insight Timer. Um, you can change your display preferences and you can see if you've downloaded content for offline mode. You can see and kind of manage that stuff from there. And then the rest of this page is really just to give you more information about how this app came about and what they're trying to do. Also, tips and tricks. This app is set up differently than the first one we looked at, but still a similar end goal. So it's just another option to look at if you're trying to find free meditation or free mindfulness resources. So now I'm going to take us back to our homepage because we have one more app to look at. This app is a little bit different. It is called Zen Koi 2. And it is actually a game rather than a meditation app. And this one, you do not have to create an account for. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it to get it opened up. I did turn the music off from this game, but you, you do have music that you can listen to. And actually, I am going to also turn off the sound because it's very, very loud for this recording. So again, this is this is a game instead of a traditional meditation app. It kind of embodies the idea behind mindfulness in that it can help you take a pause out of your life and really be present in the moment. And the way that it does that is the game itself, you are using a finger to lead your fish around the pond. You're going to feed it. And as it, as it grows and it nourishes, it will also grow and nourish the pond. What you do is you use one finger. You can see that radiating circle in front of the fish. That's my actual finger. And you just go around very slowly. You can't speed up the, the timing for the fish. You just want to try to get it fed and get it to go around the pond. So you, you really have to stay in the moment with the, having your finger on the screen and moving it very slowly. It's not a super complicated game, so there aren't strategies or tricks that you need to be thinking about how you can use. And so it really does give you the opportunity to just take a minute and kind of relax. And see, now we have another ish. We want to stay in the radius of this fish until the circle has a chance to fill itself in. So that's another goal in the game is to kind of keep these fish together and then it will allow your fish to kind of level up. So even when there are multiple fish, you're still only controlling one of them. So that is just a different option for apps to help meditate. That's it for today's video. If you liked it, make sure to let us know. And don't forget to follow us on our Facebook page at NCPL360. We do post new technology videos every Wednesday and Friday at 1 p.m. And if you do miss the live event, you can also find all of our technology playlists list and videos on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time.